It has been nine months since Hurricane Harvey hit the Houston area and flooded the Arkham chemical plant in Crosby, causing explosions that sent black smoke high into the air. Today, the final report in the investigation has been released. Our Jake Reiner joining us now live at a news conference that is taking place. Jake. Good morning, Andy. Simply put, the U.S. Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board found that Arkema had a plan in place, but reiterated the company didn't prepare for how catastrophic the flooding was from Harvey. You surely remember these images as the Arkema plant at the Arkema plant in Crosby. Uh, when the water began to rise, the CSB says workers at the plant moved 300,000 pounds of organic peroxide onto nine refrigerated trailers located on higher ground. This was the contingent plan. Well, this chemical requires specific low temperature storage. Otherwise, it will self-combust and burn. And that's exactly what happened because the flooding got so bad, the workers had to be evacuated and three of the trailers lost power and caught fire. As a result, 21 people sought medical attention to the exposure of the chemicals. In part, here's what the CSB is recommending for Arkema and the hazardous chemical industry. I think Arkema in, in post Harvey has taken a number of steps to understand what flood risk they have. Uh, to under they've done hydrological studies to try to understand worst case scenarios. And so we encourage them and other members of industry to do similar things, understand the risk, and then take steps to prevent it. So as a result, the CSB is recommending companies uh, perform an analysis based on historic extreme weather scenarios and to make sure there are backup safeguards to the safeguards that are already in place for something like this. Essentially, companies need to do a better job preparing for the absolute worst. Now, Arkema did respond to this press conference. We got that sound a little late before this newscast. We will relay that to you in uh, the coming hours. Reporting live, I'm Jake Reiner, KPRC Channel 2 News.